the competition for your eyeballs in the cockpit is heating up. There's a whole new world of live data while you're flying. Ah, oh, hi YouTube. Today we're going to have a look at gliding software. We're well into the gliding season in Europe at the moment. There's a glut of software available. Let's have a look at what they can do for you. Just a note, I'm the developer of PureTrack, so heavily biased. Let's start off with SkySight. Critical to figure out, should I go flying or not? I usually start off by looking at cloud bases. That's quite critical here in New Zealand. It says here we're going to be about four or 5,000 feet today, which is actually not too bad. Should be out flying. But what are the thermal strengths like? Absolute rubbish. Because it's the middle of winter. So we've got a cool potential flight distance feature here that just summarizes all the weather of the day for thermal flying. And if you want to see if there's any good ridge lift, we've got some awesome ridges here. So we want westerly winds coming onto the uh, coast there. Not good today. It's also good for wave forecasts. So if it's winter and you want to see if there's any good wave flying. One of the coolest features is the satellite view. Now this is amazing when you're flying because it's not a prediction. This is actually what the weather's doing. And you can see bad weather approaching. Uh, you can see cloud streets or whether thermals are popping in. And you can see, in the case of New Zealand, you can see if sea breezes are coming in. So this is incredibly useful while you're flying. Here's another neat feature of SkySight. Being able to set a task and get a forecast for that route. I click the uh, route forecast button. It's giving me some sample tasks that it's suggesting the fastest. So let's do this one. Triangle, 107 kilometers per hour. Click that, and what it's done is automatically figured out the best route, which is this black line, based on the weather forecast for the day. And if we go to thermal strengths, you can see it'll actually show you the thermal strengths throughout the day, and you can choose what time you're starting the task and ending the task. We've got a coupon code to give you a discount off your first year's subscription for SkySight Pure Glide. Let's have a quick look at OLC. OLC is the original online scoring system that lets you upload your flights after you've, you've finished the flight and get it scored around a task. So to get started on OLC, have a look at the daily scores under OLC scoring, daily score. That brings you to this page and this will show you the best flights of the day. And you can click on a flight here on this little info button at the end of each line. Hover over to get a preview. This will give an overview of the flight and you can check it out in detail and see how it was scored. More recently, WeGlide was created, basically as a more modern version of OLC. And again, this lets you upload your flight after you've finished your flight and have it analyzed. You get a score based on where you went. You can also share photos and that's one of the nicest features about WeGlide. So as you can see, this is very similar to OLC, except you get a more modern interface. And there's no reason you can't upload to both OLC and WeGlide. WeGlide has more social features. So for example, I can like this flight, which is mighty impressive. Let's have a look back at the home page. And all these pictures here are from recent flights. You can click any of the pictures to go and see what that flight was. The pictures are listed down the left here. And it even shows you where the glider was when that photo was taken, which is really cool. We Glide, if you pay for the Pro version, has a coach feature. Clicking on this will give you information and details about the flight and what you could have done better. For example, were you climbing well or thermaling well? Could you improve your thermaling? We Glide features the same satellite images from SkySight, which is awesome. And you can turn them on and off. So you can actually see what the weather was like at certain points of the flight which is pretty cool. WeGlide also has a live feature, which is similar to PureTrack, except it only shows gliders registered with OGN network. WeGlide also acts as a really nice logbook for your own flights. So I use this uh, religiously so I can keep track of all my flights. Here's one I did over uh, the Coromandel, for example. It loads up the flight. I can go back and browse the images. And it's really fun going back through your older flights and seeing how you did. Another feature I love is the WeGlide badges. Oh, I only need one more badge to go to the next level. The badges are a way to reward you for doing cool stuff in gliding. So for example, I've got a Nomad badge where I've taken off from at least five different airports. The No Need to Circle badge, fly 100 kilometers without circling. Or the Astronaut, reach an altitude of 2,000 meters. And there's a whole host of badges here 
that you can try and achieve from beginners to experienced pilots. Next up, we have the WeGlide Copilot. The idea is it gives you all the information you need while you're actually flying gliders. So Copilot's really designed to fly with. Now here it's on a desktop, but normally it'd be on your mobile phone. Here we've got a couple of gliders flying, and there's a layers menu here. You can bring up lots of different layers. Satellite weather, for example. This gives you an awesome overlay of the current weather, what's happening around the gliders, and you can browse through and pan through the recent time. Next up is thermal hotspots. This feature only works in Central Europe at the moment, but it, the idea is to show you, based on previous history, where the best thermal sources are. There's a live view for thermals, so you can see thermals that have been generated recently. We've got vertical airspeed. This gives you a summary of what the air is doing in various places, going up or down, and is based on the tracks of the gliders that are flying. They've got a thermal heights view as well, which will show you how high people are thermaling up to. And then you've got some sky sight layers such as wave, potential flight distance, and cross-country speed. Next up, my own creation, PureTrack. PureTrack is the ultimate safety tracking tool. It will let you find the last known location of any aircraft, no matter what tracking system they're using. And we support ADSB, FLAM, and the OGN network, spot and in reach satellite trackers or mobile apps and cellular trackers here we are looking at america let's filter to gliders only and tugs and that will show you everyone who's been flying currently in the last six hours we've got these cool labels that let you see exactly who's in the gaggle pure track can be used while flying it's great for showing you all the other aircraft around where you are giving you much better situational awareness we've got a built-in weather radar so you can see the bad weather coming. You can see thermals and a thermal heights layer, which really gives you clues as to where to be in the sky. This is similar to WeGlide Copilot's uh, thermal feature and thermal heights. One difference, I think PureTrack works a bit better for smaller amounts of data. So if you've just got a few gliders flying around, you'll still see useful thermal information. For those on the ground, you really can see where everyone is. We've got a feature to be able to uh, share any aircraft's current location on Google Maps. So it's really easy to get directions on your phone. And you can easily share a link to whoever you want and send it to, say, your partner. So they know exactly how long till you're home again. So you can watch glider races as well and see how all the contest is going around a task. Let's load up a track and see where everyone went. Jim Payne. Here we go, now we can see his track. And by hovering over the chart here, it lets you go back and see exactly where everyone else was at the time. So it's very easy to go back and rewatch a race, see who nearly collided with you, or who was racing along beside you. And you can select a portion of the track to download as an IGC file. Finally, we've got CU Navigator. Now this is a bit different in that it is a complete flight computer. So of course, if you need a flight computer, then this is the app for you. So CU Navigator also includes a lot of interesting layers such as the skyways, so you can see all the traffic routes that gliders typically use. You can see thermals, that's their thermal view to show you where the good thermals should be. And then you've also got sky site convergences and satellite view, which is really handy for just seeing what's happening. Obviously, CU Navigator is also an entire flight computer, so you can load up tasks and go and fly them, or do contest tasks. So you actually use this to fly with, not just view information in the cockpit. But it's really handy, it does both in the one app. And of course, CU Navigator is an excellent logger, so it will log your flight. All the flights are then uploaded to CU Cloud, and you can download them later. We've got a coupon code for the CU Cloud service, it is pure glide, or one word. What are the costs of all these services? They're all subscription based. And the reason for that is we as developers need continual support to be able to continue developing new features. So they have annual plans. SkySight starts, SkySight is a simple 89 US dollars a year. PureTrack, 49 US dollars per year. We glide between 64 and 325. US dollars per year and CU Cloud is 53 US dollars per year. So how do you choose which app to use? 
Obviously, PureTrack is the one to buy. No, I'm just joking. You should probably try all of them and see which works for you and what features are most useful to you. They all have free trials available. Test them out, see what you find useful. In fact, support all of them. We're very lucky to have such a plethora of tools available to use. Find links for all of them in the description below.